Hi everyone, mm. welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing tablet data interpretation. See the information uh, which is given in this uh, table. Here the information is about uh, population of three states over the years. Here population is given in terms of lakhs. Population is given in terms of uh, lakhs. Uh, and if you see in this table, here three uh, three states uh, population is given A, B, C. These are the three states uh, and the years are 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. These are the six different years uh, and each and every value in the table which is given in terms of lakhs. In terms of lakhs in the sense you need to multiply each and every value with uh, 1 lakh. Here 4.5, 4.5 lakhs in the sense that is 4 lakh 50,000, 4 lakh 50,000. You need to multiply each and every value with uh, 1 lakh so that you will get the result in terms of 4 lakh 50,000. Similarly 3.2 lakhs, 3.2 lakhs in the sense that is uh, 3 lakh 20,000. Likewise you need to multiply, okay. That is the information which is uh, given in this uh, table. Now, we need to solve the questions according to the information. Here the first question is, uh, what is the average population of state B for all the years together? Here we need to calculate the average of state B. As we all know that average is equal to what? Average is equal to sum of observations by, average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations number of observations that is called as uh, average. Now, as we are calculating the average of entire population for state B, you need to take the sum of uh, state B values. Here, second row, entire second row which is uh, indicated by state B, you can add all the values 3.2 plus 3.6 plus 3.4 and then here you need to add all these values, second row values. These are the six values that you need to add. 3.8, 4.1 plus 4.4. This is the total sum of uh, state B divided by and uh, how many values we have. Total six values. We are taking six observations uh, and don't forget to multiply the numerator value with the uh, lakhs lakhs okay first i will uh, calculate all these sum after that i will multiply with uh, 1 lakh average is equal to once add all the values first uh, i am adding only uh, exact uh, numbers here it is 3 3 plus 3 6 9 12 16 and uh, 20 exact integers 20 after that 0.6 Point 0.4, 1, 1.2, 1.2 plus 0.8, 2, 2.1, 2.5. So, 20 plus 2.5, that is 22.5, 22.5 into 1 lakh, 22.5 into 1 lakh. Guys, if you observe carefully, here, Options are given in terms of lakhs. So, there is no need of multiplying with uh, lakh. Directly, you can write down lakhs itself. 22.5 divided by 6. Now, you can calculate this value. Here it is uh, 6, 3 is 18. 6, 3 is 18. Still, 4 is left over. Uh, 3 point. 45 means uh, 6, 7 is 42. And still, uh, 3 will be left over. 30, 30 means 6, 5, sir. 6, 5, sir, uh, 30. Therefore, average is equal to 3.75 lakhs. Average is equal to 3.75 lakhs. That is the required average of state B, population of state B for all the years together, 3.75. Option B is the right answer, option B. See the second question. What is the percentage increase in population? Percentage increase in population of state A from 2006 to 2007. Here we need to calculate the percentage increment value. Percentage increment value of which state? State A from 2006 to 2007. 
whenever you are calculating percentage increment as we all know that percentage increment is equal to difference between those two values divided by less value divided by less value into 100 whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol is common thing right therefore the required percentage increment is equal to what is the difference between uh, these two values uh, 4.8 minus 4.5 divided by less value is 4.5 into 100 and then after that here it is uh, 0 0.3 divided by 4.5 into 100 here decimal point decimal point both are cancelled 3 ones are 3 fifteens and next you can cancel with 5 table 5 threes are 5 twenties 20 by 3. 20 by 3 is nothing but 6 2 by 3 percentage. 6 2 by 3. Therefore, the required percentage increment is 6 2 by 3 percentage increases. 6 2 by 3 percentage increases. Option D is the right answer. Option D. Let's move to the third question. What is the difference between? Here you need to calculate the difference between total population of all three states in 2008 and 2009 respectively. So here what you have to do is you have to calculate the difference between 2008 total value of states A, B, C together and 2009 the states A, B, C together. First what is 2008 state A 5.2 lakhs. 5.2 lakhs and next uh, after that uh, 3 point state b 3.4 lakhs after that state c 5.8 lakhs and next uh, 2009 state a 5.4 state b 3.8 and the uh, state c 6.3 6.3 now you can add all these uh, three values first after that you can add all these three and then you can do the difference between those two here it is 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 4 14 and then after that 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 3 13 plus 1 14 14.4 14.4 lakhs and here it is uh, 4 plus 8 12 12 plus 3 15 and next uh, 6 plus 3 9 10 15 15.5 15.5 now we need to take the difference between those two this value 14.4 lakhs and this value 15.5 lakhs therefore the required difference is 15.5 minus 14.4 14.4 which is equal to here the units place that is after the decimal point the digit is 5 minus 4 1 and then here it is uh, 5 minus 4, 1, 1.1 lakh, 1.1 lakh which is nothing but 1 lakh 10,000, 1 lakh 10,000. That is the required difference between those two values, 2008 total, 2009 total. The difference between those two is 1 lakh 10,000. Option A is the right answer. Guys, I will tell you one more technique to solve these kind of problems. If you observe carefully, whenever you are doing the difference between those two values, in state A, I am taking the reference as 2009. Why? Because 2009 state A is more, 2009 state B is more, 2009 state C is more. Every time state uh, 2009 value is more as comparing with 2008 value. How much more? You just take the only difference value. Here it is uh, how much more? Plus 0 0.2. Here it is plus 0 0.4. Here it is plus 0 0.5. Now you can add these three values. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5 that is uh, 0 0.9 plus 0 0.2 which is 1.1. That is the difference between uh, 2008 total, 2009 total. 
this is the simplest shortcut method to solve these kind of problems. No need of calculating 2008 total, 2009 total. This is just a procedure method when you are approaching the problems related to uh, any kind of this model. You just go with this uh, shortcut method. Okay. Next question. What is the average population of all three states in 2010? In 2010, we need to calculate the average. As we all know that average is equal to sum of observations by average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. Now you can calculate the required average in 2010. 2010 total value that is uh, first take all these uh, three values all three states uh, first value is 5.8 second value is 4.1 and third value is 6.6 .6. all these are in terms of lakhs only here also you will get the result in terms of lakhs options are given in terms of lakhs only divided by how many observations we have taken into consider? Total 3 observations. So, denominator value is 3. Therefore, the required average value is, you can add all these uh, 3 values. Here it is 6 plus 4, 10, 15, 15.8, 15.9 and then uh, 16.5 divided by 3, which is equal to 3 fives are 15 and still 1 is left over. After that, 15 again, 5 times, 5.5 lakhs. The required average of 2010 for all three states together, that is 5.5 uh, lakhs. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Last question in this session. What is the ratio between, what is the ratio between Total population of all three states in 2008 and 2009 respectively. Here first 2008 total. After that 2009 total for all three states A, B, C. And then you can calculate the ratio of these two values. 2008 first value 5.2 state A. Second value 3.4. And third value state C that is 5.8. Similarly, 2009, first value is 5.4, second value is 3.8 and third value is 6.3. First take all these values, 5 plus 5, 10, 13, 13, 14, 14.4. This value is 14.4 and then 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 5, 9 plus 5, 14. 14, 15.2, 15.5. This is 15.5, right? Here, one decimal point, one decimal point, both are cancelled. Now, this value becomes 144 is to 155. Once check it out, uh, whether this option is there in the given options or not. 144 is to 155. Yes, it is there. It is not cancelled with any of the uh, tables so directly you can keep the answer as uh, 144 is to 155 that is the required answer for this question and uh, guys uh, this is the last question in this uh, table so i hope you understand each and every problem in this session uh, i hope you enjoy the session thank you thanks for watching